again. Welcome to another episode of Afro Scientific Spirituality. My name is Three Men, West. If this is your first time on the channel, you are highly, highly welcome. This is a place for separated facts from the fiction, the science from the superstition, and the concept from the misconceptions about African spirituality. Today, I want to talk about the legendary Ogbono seed and uh, the uses of uh, Ogbono seed, aka bush mango, in African spirituality. This is a plant or a seed that is very, very popular in West Africa. I'm sure that many people around the world, if you are familiar with Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, you must have heard about the soup that they called Ogbono soup. It's a very popular delicacy and uh, a lot of West Africans eat it a lot, especially Nigerians. It is uh, one of the most favorite soup in Nigeria. In fact, there is nobody in Nigeria that don't know Ogbono soup or have not eaten it. If you see anybody from Nigeria that say they have not eaten Ogbono soup before, they don't know what it is. That person is not from Nigeria. I just know that that person is lying to you. So this Ogbono soup, uh, the main ingredients is uh, from a seed known as uh, Ogbono. And uh, this very seed is a very, very special seed. And uh, it comes from the tree that we call the Ogbolo tree, which is uh, also known as bush mango. People call it bush mango in West Africa. The botanical name is uh, Ivingia gabonensis. I don't know if I'm getting it right, too, but uh, the name is there. Try to pronounce it by yourself, okay? It's not only me will be doing all the pronunciation. I don't know why all these people feel that they have to give these um, difficult names to all these simple plants. I don't know what is just wrong with these um, Latin people. I don't just know what is wrong with them. They just come to Africa, start naming things, uh, making people to try to cut their tongue. I don't know. But uh, that is the name they call it if you want to trace it with a uh, the Claudia classification. You type the name on the internet, you get this plant Ivinga and Gabonesis. We call it bush mango in West Africa. When you say bush mango, we have regular mango and we have bush mango. Your regular mango is the mango you used to know, that yellow fruit that is very sweet. The bush mango is round and uh, it is mostly found in the bush. So in Nigeria, they call it bush mango. When you say bush mango, people know. It has its own kind of unique taste, smell and flavor. And uh, some people like it, many people don't like it because uh, it is not as sweet as the regular mango. But uh, a lot of native people, herba people, people like me, uh, we like it. It has a lot of medicinal benefits and uh, I'm going to be talking about it here. So that very bush mango that we are talking about, the seed of that bush mango is what is used to make this, it's called this ogbolo, that is used to cook the ogbolo soup. The ogbolo soup is a very, very sweet soup. You can cook it a uh, different style. People have different way of cooking it. They use fish, they use meat, some use um, bush meat, some use uh, goat meat, and all sort of, anyhow you cook it, it's very sweet. And uh, one thing we know that with this ogbolo soup is that it is sticky. It draws, it's a sticky soup. So uh, this stickiness is as a result of this seed that they put inside. So it has a unique flavor and uh, the soup always sticks. So they use, uh, people eat it with eba, people eat it with fufu. You have to eat it with uh, a kind of a carbohydrate mixture we call gari. If you don't have gari, you can eat it with pandendiam. If you don't have pandendiam, you can eat it uh, with fufu or suji or just regular plain baking powder, baking flour, corn flour. They mix it up and it's very sweet. It is uh, full of a lot of nutrients. This particular soup uh, goes well with vegetables. So people always garnish it with vegetables, uh, leaves, the ones they call ugu leaves. That is another leaf for another day. It's a blood leaf that gives blood to the body. I will do a video on that very leaf too, so you can know the benefit of that very, very leaf, but 
They normally mix ogbolo seeds with that leaf together so you get your ogbolo soup. And then they put some okra, some lady's fingers inside to garnish it. And then you get a bunch of super nutrients in your body when you eat this soup. So the soup is very popular soup. You can see the pictures and uh, it's quite a delicacy, something you want to try. So this ogbolo soup once again is that uh, why do we actually uh, eat this seed? The benefits from the seed are enormous. Many people eat it in West Africa. They believe that uh, it uh, gives sperm for the body. For those men that are suffering from low sperm, can't or watery sperm, they believe that by eating the ogbolo soup, it is going to make their sperm thicker. So uh, people often recommend it to men that are suffering from watery sperm to eat it, uh, to be eating ogbolo soup. It makes it thicker and so they can have more chances of uh, impregnating a woman so people eat it for making sperm to think tick okay and uh, the seed also is very very effective it has a lot of antibodies inside uh, people use it uh, as an antidote against poison and uh, people use it for uh, enrich the nutrients in the body then also to the seeds have often been discovered that uh, they are very very effective in weight loss so a lot of uh, people in the western world they have been uh, doing research on this ogbolo seed and they have come to discover that uh, by ingesting uh, certain quantities of uh, extract from this seed daily at least twice a day it helps to reduce weights in the body it helps to reduce them um, the body size it helps to reduce the waist size meaning it makes people to be slimmer so uh, there have been a lot of studies from different universities on this very thing uh, i will put some of the studies on the screen the one i have is from the university of oxford uh, there have been different studies and they discovered that the ogbolo seed contains some enzymes inside that is very effective uh, in the reduction of cholesterol in the body and also in reducing the body weight. So uh, people are now using it as a health supplement around the world to reduce their body weight. You just take it twice a day. You don't need to exercise. You don't need to change your eating habits. It uh, just works or makes the body, it has some things inside, some enzymes that make the body, uh, makes it difficult to store fats and uh, it uh, make it reduce the fat storage in the body and reduce the size of your waist. So if you want to reduce your stomach size or you want to get six pack, you should try to be eating this ogbolo often or try to be taking ogbolo seed supplements, okay? The scientific study is on the screen. You can also do your research on this very thing. So, so many uh, Western uh, doctors have been coming out and we are recommending this um, ogbolo seed for weight uh, reduction. So it's a very good seed. We in Africa, we don't really use it for weight. Uh, we use it for uh, increasing of sperm. That is why people eat it many times. They say it's very good for that department. So people in Africa, we don't really care about weight size. You know, we are very big in Africa. We are just like that. We don't care about size. We only care about uh, performance. That is what we care about. We, not care, we don't care about size. So that is not our business. So if you want to do something with weight or you want to work on that other department, Ogbolo soup, you need to be eating it regularly. You need to get some Ogbolo. It is very, very plenty in Nigeria. It's very, very cheap. You can order it online. You can order it anywhere you want to get it. Try to learn how to cook Ogbolo soup. There's a lot of YouTube videos that will teach you how to cook Ogbolo soup with the Ogbolo so you can know how to cook it and uh, you can know how to be eating it. It's a very good food, very good food and very sweet. There's a reason why Nigeria have a lot of population, especially West Africa. We have a lot of um, aphrodisiacs in our food, in our everyday food that we eat every day. It's part of our culture, part of our way of life. In fact, we don't even know those things were aphrodisic until people start coming to say these are aphrodisiacs. We don't know for us. We just, these are regular food that people eat every day. And uh, you just live your life 
Ogbolo is one of those things. So uh, if you it's something that you should be eating, there is a lot of uh, benefit from eating this food. Then uh, for the spiritual side of things, uh, people use this Ogbolo leaf. We had this Ogbolo, the tree leaf is part of, um, we use it for spiritual beating as well. Then uh, this um, tree, the tree that grows this is often regarded as a sacred tree. Why one of the reasons they call it bush mango is that uh, in those days, you don't normally find this tree in the community. You always find it in the bush and in the separate place, always inside the bush. The reason was that uh, a lot of spirits live inside this tree and they live under this tree. So a bolo tree is uh, not an ordinary tree. It's a tree that sort of houses a lot of deities. A lot of spirits like this tree very well. And this tree usually grow very, very big and they create a canopy. So it's not everybody that is even allowed to, can even go and pluck this fruit from this tree. So it's a very special tree. It is one of the sacred trees we have in, uh, in West Africa, the Ogbolo tree. So the tree leaves, we use it for different things. The bark of that tree, we cut it when children are sick, somebody is sick. You cut it, you boil it, we use it for spiritual bath. You can also drink the bark. You use it to make tea, the leaves, we put it inside the water, we drink it, or use it for spiritual bath to ward off death, to ward off uh, bad things. Then people that have a dysentery, stomach worms, uh, infection or poisons, we give them the bark of this tree, mixed with the leaf to drink, and then it solves that problem. It also solves the problem of diabetes for people that have diabetes. This Ogbolo leaf and bark of tree, you can get the leaf or you can get the back of the tree. You boil the water, you'll be drinking it. It helps to flush out blood sugar. It reduces the blood sugar from your body. So the Ogbolo leaf and the back of the tree is very good for treating type 2 diabetes. Okay. It's also very good for reducing body weight as well. And uh, it's uh, very good for other things. Also helps to treat other neurodegenerative diseases. And uh, it has a lot of uh, antioxidants and uh, anti-inflammatory ingredients inside. So it's a very, very good uh, uh, tree that have a lot of medicinal benefits that people can use and uh, get a lot of uh, benefits from. So there it is for the legendary Ogbono seed and also the Ogbono tree. So uh, I put the link of the study on the video. Please try to do your research on the medical benefits of the Ogbolo seed, aka bush mango. There's a lot of videos on it. People have been talking about it. Okay. So this is what I have for you today. Questions or comments are welcome. Please like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell close to the subscribe button. So you'll be the first to get my videos as soon as I release them. And uh, if you are also interested in learning about African spirituality, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, my website www.kindoki.net where I teach the inner secrets of African spirituality. Then uh, you can also buy my book where I have been able to explain the interrelationship between the evil forest and negative space in quantum physics and African spirituality. There's a lot of uh, scientific evidence in that book to back the validity of African spirituality. So you need to get that book so you know the evidence of what you are practicing. Okay, it's a very powerful book. So you can reach out to me on this channel. If you feel that uh, you are impacted by my videos and you like to support me, you have my PayPal uh, email and my bank account number under there. You can ship in to support the movement so that we can all play a part in emancipating African people from mental slavery and we can move forward and discover ways of advancing our scientific spirituality. So with that being said, I wish you a very wonderful day and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye. Peace.